Hey guys, it's Kara with a bag holder and I'm going to show you a very quick way to make candlelight or candles for your centerpieces that we've made. This costs you about 30 cents, no joke. I've got little glass votives that I found at Walmart. You can find them anywhere. Really a huge, huge tip. Go to the Goodwill store and you can get all different shapes of their individual glasses. But this is going to be so simple, it's done in a flash. And kids can do it. Basically, we're going to make bean art. You're going to put beans, just bags of black beans. This was $1.17. And you can design them, layer them. All, only use black, only use white. Just depends on what your event is. You can also do these for all different holidays, baby showers, etc. In fact, you could put these little beans in food coloring, blue, pink, yellow, green, and they'll start to change. You need to leave it overnight. But see this? I'm just going to layer this just like you would do sand art but I'm doing it with beans and it's done in a matter of seconds for nice little centerpieces to light up your table or um, your food table. And all you have to do then is stick your candle right in there. So you can see that we've got two nice little glass votives to put on our table. All right, let me move those over here. Second one, I wanna show you this. Now this is a little bit more difficult, a little more time consuming and definitely needs some muscles. You can see what I have done here. Basically, I have the little pumpkins that you buy. I bought five for $3, and I have popped, this is one of the ones that are battery operated, so I don't have to worry about it catching on fire or anybody getting burned. But you can do this, or you can do, again, just the little tea light candles. So this is an example, and this light blinks too, so at night, when it's sitting in a dark room, it does look very cool. But what you can see is, I took a sharp knife. I basically went, and I made, just uh, five sides. I couldn't do it in a circle because I'm not that strong. So I just cut five sides and you can see exactly how I did this. Then I used my spoon. It's the hardest part of the whole project. I used my spoon and basically popped out the top. You have to get up under it. Now we wanna clear out the seeds just as if you were getting ready to carve a pumpkin. Instead, we're gonna use it for our centerpiece. So you wanna carve out your pumpkin, get all of these seeds out and the other thing that you can do with this is if the kids, you want, as soon as you get this, get the center taken out, let them paint this. They can write designs, they can make little faces, anything. You could put cloves in here to make eyeballs. That's all up to you. But once you get this carved out, you're going to pop a little tea candle right inside and you're set. No fire. How easy is that? Again, this is one that's a little bit bigger. Now, if you have one that's just too big, the tea light, you're afraid it's gonna fall over, then put a little of those beans that you use for your other votives, put a little of the beans, and I'll show you in this one, because this is a huge, considering the size of the tea candle, this is a huge one. Let me get all this out. Now you guys know you can toast those up, have a little pumpkin seed spitting contest, but here's a perfect example just to show you. Put a little beans here to make it even. Pop your votive right in here, and you're good to go. That's simple. So guys, visit us at facebook.com slash tlfamily, facebook.com slash bagholder, and don't miss all of our Halloween crafts that you can have fun with with your kids. See you soon.